Mambro seta rakota shalabratika parata. Balaam was called by Balak to curse the nation of Israel. I've shared it here. The Lord asked me to repeat it, so I'm repeating it. Now listen. And when Balaam saw that it pleased the Lord to bless Israel, it's actually 23, 24. I'm jumping for time's sake. Follow the story. He went not as in other times to seek for enchantment. Now, there's a lot to say about Balaam. The Bible talks about the doctrine of Balaam, the error of Balaam, the way of Balaam. There is a long story on that. I don't want to go into that. But he set his face towards the wilderness. Let's rush it. Go ahead. And Balaam lifted his eyes. Balaam wanted to find out where... Listen, listen. Let me explain the whole scene for you. A prophet is brought by Balak and he said, Cause koinonia. Make things to start going wrong for people. Are we together? Now, Balaam tells them, Look, oh, I am a prophet. In other words, I don't speak the way I want. So as we stand here, whatever you hear me say is what God is saying. Agreed? They said agreed. So they brought gifts. Balaam would have sought God by lifting his face to the hills. That's the key. Sammy said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. They know where their help comes from. But now Balaam used enchantment so that God would not be able to prophesy through him. Are you getting the story? He used divination to invoke spirits so that they would prophesy. So Balaam stood and after he used those enchantments, he was about to curse and his mouth produced blessings. And he was surprised. He moved to another place again and used invocations about to speak and he blessed them. He went to another place about to speak and he blessed them. And Balaam said, Balak was angry. And he said, what is all this? I brought you to curse them. All that has been coming out of your mouth is blessings. Please watch this. And Balaam lifted his eyes to check. They were on a mountain. And he said, no, I'm a prophet. Let me look. What is the reason why no cause is working? And this is what he saw. Hallelujah. And he saw Israel abiding in what? His tent. There was a spiritual formation from the valley. Israel were wise people. They didn't just say, let's rest. They said, ah, it is possible that the kings will come and destroy us. So let us engage the formation. There is a pattern. Hmm. They arranged themselves according to their tribes with the ark of God being at the center. And they said, let's see who will curse us. They kept the card there. So when Balaam stood at the mountain to curse, the ark fought him back. And he said, I don't know what is wrong. I can't curse them. I can't curse them. Then listen to what he said. According to their tribes, and finally the spirit of God came upon him. This is what he said. The secret. And he took a parable. That's how prophets, remember Hosea chapter 12? I have spoken in similitudes of parables. I have multiplied visions. He took a parable and he said, Balaam, the son of Beor, had said, speaking about himself, and the man whose eyes are open, talking about himself, had said, verse 4, and he had said, which heard the words of God, which saw the visions of the Almighty falling into a trance, but having his eyes open, verse 5, how goodly are thy tents, O Jacob, and thy tabernacles, O Israel. That's the secret. I look at your tent and your spiritual formation and I see you arranged in a way that no cause, no enchantment. That's why he said no divination, no enchantment against Jacob. It's not just because they are Christians. Please listen to what I'm teaching you now. There was a spiritual pattern and literally Bala, as a true prophet, could not cause them. They didn't fight. They just could not cause them. When it was time, in, in 2 Chronicles 20 verse 20, or well, we read from verse 15 downwards if there's time. They were about to fight. Three kings came together to fight them. And the Bible said, they had another formation. Kai. These guys use formations for victory, not stories. They inquired of the Lord, what pattern will produce the result? And they said, let the worshippers be in front. And when the worshippers were in front, together with the ark, 
the warriors were behind he said this is not an issue of sword and he began to sing hearken all judah and ye inhabitants of jerusalem and thou king jehoshaphat thus said the lord be not afraid or dismayed by reason of this great multitude for the battle is not yours but the lord's let's read down quickly tomorrow go up against them and so on and so forth 17. listen he said ye shall not what set yourselves and stand still and see the salvation of the lord O judah and jerusalem fear not or be dismayed tomorrow you go up against them verse and joseph had bowed his head this and that and that verse 19 there's something i'm looking for now listen and the levites and the children of the Kohathites, and of the children of all of those people stood up to what praise the lord of the lord god of israel with a loud voice on high right and then of course they rose early in the morning and then when they began to praise you know a prophecy came next verse he says and when he had consulted the people he appointed what look at the formation who did he appoint do you use musicians to fight war musicians to fight war three kings about to kill you i hope you know they were not acting it was real death but there was a pattern he says and they should praise the beauty of his holiness and as they went out before the army and to say praise the lord for his mercy endured forever what happened and when they began to sing and to praise the lord set ambushment against the children of ammon moab and mount seir which were come against judah and were smitten next verse for the children of this stood up to slay themselves read the last sentence if you're a christian want to read everyone help to destroy military people killing themselves there were two left and he said who dies first say you he now kill the other person and killed himself while they were doing that other people were there invoking a pattern listen there's something i teach the school of ministry students called the reflection principle listen i want to teach you something very powerful it's a principle that is used in occultism it's a principle that is used it was an an aberration of god's principle listen you only host a spirit and a dimension of the possibility of a spirit if you create the atmosphere for that spirit to feel at home as though it were in its primary place of habitation are you getting what i'm saying so if the ambassador of u.s comes to the u.s consulate office in abuja it was designed to accommodate him his appetites the colors the architecture are we together there is a pattern based on the ideology of the united states they built the embassy that way so whether he is in nigeria or he's in america it does not make any difference to him because the embassy in nigeria reflects the dexterity and the glory of america are we together now watch this if i want a spirit any spirit please give me this sir. sorry no if i want a spirit assuming i'm a herbalist i am not a herbalist assuming i'm a herbalist are we together and i want a spirit to come upon this i'm not just going to say spirit come spirit break out and then you think it will come no there is i must find out what that spirit is and the nature of its operation and the kind of atmosphere that makes it come and i will make this water become like the atmosphere the spirit must come atmospheres are magnets they draw spirits and they draw possibilities to the earth and to territories please listen to this this is very important so this is what the psalmist said the holy ghost wanting to come into the new creation he said a body has thou prepared you prepared it in such a way that when i come into that body it will be as though i am in heaven when the body was prepared the spirit could come and that body today is called the ecclesia 
the body of Christ. It was built in a particular way. Christ, the foundation, the apostolic, and the prophetic. And then the, it rises and he said, that body you have prepared for me. So God is able to function on earth because of the body that has been prepared for him. Are we together now? When, during our traditional festivals, when they want to see certain spirits, what do the masquerades do? Or the priests? They wear a particular attire, having a particular kind of animal skin, alligator skin, then some use snakes, some use hyenas. Come on, talk to me, Africa. Are we together? So, we have, don't, don't act as if you came from, from, from the Middle East. We are here, we are home. Amen. They use fire. They provoke these spirits. They start chanting tongues. And start moving in a particular direction. They can move here small and come back again. They can run and come back. While they are doing that, someone can be playing drums. Are we together? And then at a particular point, the snake will start coming out. When the snake starts coming out, they start dancing and putting fire. Because the snake is reflecting what is happening in the realm of the spirit so the gods are now coming the moment that happens what happens it's like people are under the anointing even the priests they are under their anointing they start doing crazy things they took fire in their mouth and nothing happens because a spirit landed let me tell you why it landed there was a pattern i counseled one man um on on tuesday on wednesday in abuja before i came He's one of the popular Nigerian directors, directors of Nigerian film, you know, and all of that. And he told me something. He said, man of God, most of the Nigerian films you see us acting, the snake we use, they are real snakes. But what they do is they go to charmers. You know, these guys are charm snakes. So they give them a particular ring so that they can pick the snake and nothing will happen. The ring has a pattern. It's a language the snake understands. That's why sometimes it backfires. Because those powers expire, they must be renewed. If at the point of expiration, you are the one holding the snake, the snake that you were, you were in nice romance with would turn and injure you immediately. Are we together? Patterns. So there are men whose lives are patterns. You curse them, it returns back to you. And you are wondering, see, it is on this basis that you can say, I am uncursable. Now, the problem with the church is we say revelations without, we, we make statements without the spiritual revelation that activates those possibilities. I am uncursable in the name of Jesus. And you find out there's a curse at work in your life. Clearly, everybody knows you are cursed. Yeah, I'm not cursed. You are cursed. We are seeing it. It is on the strength of this. There is a pattern. Don't laugh. Are we together? So someone can vow like they vowed to Paul. And they said, Paul, we will not eat nor drink until you, are, until you die. And Paul lived many years afterwards. I'm teaching you something you can do on earth. That is, is like a spiritual formation. That will make the Holy Spirit respond to you in a certain way. And you will see doors open. And you will be wondering what happened. It's a pattern. Balaam stood on the mountain and he saw the pattern. And he said, I can't curse them. I'm trying. I'm making efforts. Listen. I can't tell you how many times on my way to travel, people will call me and say, Apostle, I just had a dream. Are you about to travel? I say yes. They say, please sir, don't travel. I love you so much. Koinonia loves you. I just had a dream this morning. And in that dream, I saw a plot. And I saw that you had a ghastly motor accident. And you died. And then I said, okay, I appreciate. Now, they are not, they are not lying. They saw it. And what they saw was correct. But there is a pattern. Kabarato Satayaba. David, I'm come and sing a song there, my spirit. Your influence is all over me, right? I'm under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. I'm under the shadow of your wings. And your influence 
and sisters when it comes to kingdom advancement don't just think of your personal spiritual life alone there are limitations to your personal spiritual life as far as kingdom advance is concerned there are certain strategies of witchcraft that it takes more than you as a person to conquer it's not that Christ is not king of kings and lord of lords please hear me is a law there are formations there are things that have been engaged that requires the strength of the body not your strength alone if you do not understand this you will have a lot of casualties and you will mock yourself spiritual patterns formations that make men forbidable on earth they wanted to curse you just like somebody from your village now wants to curse you and you have been saying in the name of Jesus I'm uncursable, I agree with you potentially but you have to engage the mystery that makes your word valid otherwise you will be shouting I will not be cursed until they, they, they kill you like a chicken are we together? Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.